So Kira is a new photographer and she asked me to take a look at her pictures, review them a little bit, and then show her how I would edit them. So I don't have time to edit all of them, but I did edit one of them and I'm hoping that's enough to sort of point her in the right direction. And I'm so impressed. You should be, you guys, you're in for a good one. She's very talented. So super, super picture to start off with. This is not an easy thing to do. Um, capturing an indoor picture with a dark horse on top of it, not easy. This looks like it was a very dark indoor arena and you captured this so, so well. This is something that even experienced photographers struggle with from time to time and you nailed it. So excellent, excellent job. Um, your settings are super on point. Uh, the composition is on point. Everything is absolutely perfect. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. Some people might say it's a little bit dark. Personally, especially in this situation, I'm okay with it being just a tad dark because I actually think I would probably purposely shoot it just a tad dark um, because I can fix it in Lightroom. And, um, you know, it, the light may change based on where you're pointing it, based on what you're shooting at. Like, let's say it's a, a white horse that's right behind this horse. Um, yeah, so this is an excellent shot. If it were me on the horse, I would be very, very happy. So um, excellent, excellent job. You should be very proud of yourself. Um, this shot. Okay, so this is one of my favorite poses. A lot of people really like this pose. Um, it's very difficult to get though. So um, if, please take what I say with a grain of salt because I know that you can try to get this shot and it doesn't always work out. I'm sure you know all the things I'm about to say, but I'll say them anyway because it may help another photographer. Um, so for this, um, first thing I would say is um, change where you're standing a little bit. So you're, it looks like you're a little bit close. Um, yeah, it looks like you are shooting at 45 millimeters. Um, I would consider, I don't know what lens you're shooting with, I can't recall, but um, I would consider a longer lens in this situation. You can start to get some distortion when you're shooting a large animal like this. Um, so I would recommend a lens that will allow you to back up a little bit and zoom in versus stand close and zoom out. Um, but that could be one thing. And then the other part of where you're standing is I would get a little bit closer to the horse's haunches. Um, make sure you're safe, of course, not all horses like that, but um, you wanna get a little bit closer to the horse's haunches. You can stand back a little bit more if you have a longer lens, <clears throat> um, but uh, that angle where it's sort of like, you know, you can see the haunches, the shoulder, and the girl just sort of like almost in a perfectly straight line. That's kind of what you're looking for in a shot like this. Um, if you're going for the shot that I'm thinking of, again, please take this with a grain of salt. I'm not sure what you were um, trying to do. It may have been this, but if you're going for the shot, I think you're going for, um, you're also going to want to have the horse looking to the right a little bit. And what you can do sometimes for that is um, horses are very naturally curious animals. They like to sort of look in the direction of any new noises they hear. So what I'll often do is have my assistant go running off in one direction, making some weird noise and the horse will be like, what's going on? Or you can get, um, an app on your phone that can make horse noises or, or donkey noises, like crinkling paper noises, anything like that. Um, to get the horse's attention, just looking off in the distance a little bit. You don't really want the horse to fully wrap around. Um, that seems like it would be the goal, but um, in a shot like this, you're probably gonna want him just to look off in the direction and that'll make it look like he's wrapping around. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But um, settings wise, again, very on point. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. I'm not shoot sure if you're shooting in manual or not, um, but if you are, you should be very proud of yourself. These are great settings for that. Okay. Um, oh, I love this picture. This is a great picture. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. There are so many wonderful things happening here. So first of all, incredible posing. Very, very good job. Um, one of my favorite things to do with horse and riders is to get the uh, get the rider, or the owner, however you want to title them, um, crouched down somehow, like sitting down, crouched down, anything like that, um, and have the horse sort of bend down and look at them. That is the cutest thing. And to have him kind of nuzzle her Santa hat there is just, I, I love it. This is great. So super, super posing. I love where you're standing. I love, 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 love the fact that you crouched down. That is 
amazing instinct right there. The fact that you wanted to crouch down and get to your subject's level is one of the first things that I learned in photography and you just picked it up right out of the bat. Uh, I don't know who taught you that or if you taught it yourself, it's just instinct, I don't know, but um, you took what, you know, if you were to stand up, it would have been an okay shot, but by crouching down and composing it like this, stellar shot. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. So um, this is, I love this shot. This is, I, I could go on and on about this shot. I, this is probably gonna be the shot that I'm gonna edit. I love this. Super, super job. Again, great on the settings as well. Um, okay, so this shot, uh, yes. Okay, so I see what you're trying to do here. I love that, I like this pose too. Again, I'm kind of a sucker. I don't know why, I just am a little bit of a sucker for um, whenever the rider is down on the ground and the horse gets to bend down. There's just something so sweet about it, I don't know. Um, it also tends to help the person relax a little bit because getting photos is a little bit scary. And for some reason, when you're sitting or crouching or anything like that, you're not thinking so much about your body. Um, so excellent job, um, trying to get that. The only thing I would say is, um, probably move over a little bit. You're probably going to want to get that more from a, a, I guess a side angle. Although I will say getting it over on this angle, kind of to the right a little bit, gets her face in it a little bit more, um, and gets her looking up at him. So there's that aspect of it too. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I also see that it looks like you're trying to use the horse to hide, um, the, the building, whatever that may be behind the horse. So good job on that. I do that trick all the time. It's a great trick. Um, it just saves you from having to edit anything afterwards. So um, excellent job there. Your settings are great. Um, yeah, this is great. I also see there's a little bit of snow in the air. That is very awesome. I'm just now noticing that. Um, yeah, so great job. Next one. Oh, this is very cute. Yeah, I love this. So Having your subject sit down, as I said, just helps them relax a little bit. And she seems super relaxed. And the horse's ears are up and everything. He looks marvelous, marvelously cute. I'm just obsessed with this horse. I don't know who he is, but I want him now. Um, excellent, excellent job. Great settings. Again, um, the only thing is um, they seem a little bit far apart, um, which you could edit to some extent, but I would not bother in this sense. Um, I think this is a super cute picture. Um, my, the hope in this picture though, is that they're sort of interacting with each other because he is kind of far. Um, and the way that he's standing, um, and the way he's looking at the camera hides his beautiful neck quite a bit. So if he were to be looking at her, he could show his neck a little bit more. Um, but other than that, excellent, excellent job. Yeah, you should be very proud of yourself. These are excellent pictures. Uh, I would not guess that you were a beginner photographer judging from these. Your settings are on point. Your posing is on point. Um, the crouching down aspect of it is next level. I'm so proud of you for that. Um, and uh, my only, I guess, overall feedback would be to... Um, uh, just see if you can stand back a little bit and zoom in. It's not too much of a problem in most of these pictures, this one more so than the other ones, um, but you definitely get away with it in most of these. Uh, you did a great, great job. So you should be very proud of yourself. Good job. So this is the picture I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, play with. And the reason being is I just, this is my favorite one of the, one that you, of the ones that you've sent. I just love this picture. So um, I, just, I love everything about it. I love the composition. I love her smile. I love this, the way this horse looks, his very, very handsome expression and the way his body is and yet how freaking cute he is, like nuzzling her. It's just so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it a little bit. And the way I'm going to start is I'm going to go down to this point curve here and I'm going to give it, give it an S curve. And this is what that looks like. Just a little one, nothing too crazy. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, um, let me lighten these shadows a little bit but I'm gonna up the contrast at the same time. I know that sounds weird, but um, actually, I'm gonna go right into masking 
I am going to do a radial gradient in the background here. So radial gradient and then subtract the subject. Cool, now I got the background. I'm gonna go ahead and up the exposure just a little bit, just to give it a little something. I don't know, I just, there's something there. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'm just winging it. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna use a brush and I'm going to lighten his face a little bit because I had darkened it. All right, let me see if I can bring up the shadows. Here we go. Exposure just a tad. No, I don't wanna play with that. There we go. All right, and then um, her face looks a little bit bright to me. Um, I think it's her glasses actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Um, I am gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna paint a brush over her glasses area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lower the exposure there. I'm gonna warm that a little bit. Add a little pink back so it matches her skin tone a little bit better. Lower the exposure, contrast a little bit. Maybe lower the whites. Nope, I like the whites. Black maybe? That might help. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So um, that mask just before and after, you can kind of see that I just fixed her glasses a little bit. All right, I'm going to zoom back out here. Um, cool, cool. And then let's see. What else do I want to do? I actually don't know that I want to play with the colors too, too much. I might just leave them. Might be a little green it up just a tad there we go um i might let's see what clarity does i might add a little bit of that you know what i'm like very stuck on her glasses so i'm gonna go back to that for a second i'm gonna erase a little bit of this because it's a little intense around her eye down here let me zoom out yeah it seems better to me Okay, um, let's see. So here's before, after, before, after. Yeah, I think I like it a little bit more pink. Um, I'm gonna check these, but I, I'm not seeing too much of the chromatic aberration or I don't think it's gonna need a lens correction. It doesn't, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm gonna leave that be. Um, I don't see any defringe requirements um really like this this is such a cute picture i wish i took this picture Up the exposure just a tad yeah i like where this is going so this is the before and this is the after maybe it's a little too pink i don't know no i think i like it pink i don't know Yeah, I think I like this. This is good to me. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here because honestly, this picture is almost too perfect for me to touch. I was really excited about editing it and then I started editing it and I was like, this picture's too good, like out of camera for me to play with too much. So <laughs> I love this picture. So I hope um, this was helpful anyway. I hope the review was helpful. I hope that these little tweaks were helpful because not every picture needs like a drastic change um the fact that yours didn't is impressive um but at the same time a lot of them are going to need uh you know massive changes when you take pictures these are just a selection of five that i assume you you know took out of your favorite pictures and some of your pictures that you didn't send may need a huge overhaul and that's okay mind you too and i've been doing this professionally so <laughs> it just happens i mean um it, it's a lot of it isn't the fault of you a lot of it a lot of it is just you know what you're working with and it's hard to get the perfect picture out of camera but this one was darn near close so um i adore this picture i also very much love this horse and want this horse he looks so cute he looks like a freaking teddy bear like he looks super handsome but super cute at the same time and i love her smile she clearly adores this horse i just love this this is so cute anyway hopefully that was helpful here i thank you for reaching out <laughs>